Uh, Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford. Seems like he's doing a pretty good job so far. I, I don't have anything too critical to say uh, for Doug Ford. But he has said that um, 12 weeks, the measures that are in place now, business closures, quarantine, physical distancing or social distancing, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, he has said that that is going to be in place for 12 weeks. Now, I, I don't know why you would come out and just throw out the number 12 weeks like that. That seems, that seems kind of stupid. And I'll say it's stupid, not because I don't think this may not be a problem or that may not be the solution, but why would you put something out there if you don't actually know that that's what it's going to be? And he doesn't know. Um, he's seeing the cases spike right now, and yeah, they are, but um, he doesn't know if this is going to level off in four weeks. So why, why would you put out such negativity, right? Um, why would you not? It, it would be much better to just come out and say, look, this is what we need to see happen. Um, if this doesn't happen, then we're going to have to keep going with this. And if this does happen, then we can start returning to normal. And, you know, another leader, Justin Trudeau, I mean, you know, I, I've been trying to go easy on this guy because I understand it's a tough situation. But I think especially once the initial shock of what's going on wears off, I think we have to we have to start looking critically at what people are saying and some of their actions. And um, you know, I constantly hear the same couple things from him. One is, one is, uh, <clears throat> another thing is, um, we support you. We have your back. Like these kind of nice sounding platitudes, but that's not quite the case. That's not quite the case. Um, I'll, I'll read to you some of the um, information on the, um, uh, the wage subsidy and some of these other things. But before I do that, uh, another thing that I've heard from uh, Trudeau is he keeps saying this will go on as long as Canadians um, are not doing what they need to do. Or, you know, when everybody is abiding by the rules, then we will see this, the curve flatten out. So wh what does this mean? I have been abiding by the rules and I've been doing it for over two weeks now. And most of us have been doing it for over two weeks now. So is this a situation? Remember when you're in school and it was lunchtime, right? You're sitting in your desk and you're counting the hours while this boring person is rambling on. Not all teachers are boring. I get it. Some are exciting. Anyways, the teacher is rambling on. You see the clock ticking and you think, aha, lunchtime. And then your teacher says, no, nobody is going ev anywhere till everybody is quiet. Fuck you. Man, I hate that. You know what? So you can do everything you're supposed to do. You can be quiet. You can have your desk in order. You can be neat. You can be well behaved. Oh no, but you're going to be punished because you have to be responsible for everybody else. To me, that is the worst kind of peer pressure, social influencing, punishing someone for something someone else did. It's really unfair. And that's essentially what we're getting from Justin Trudeau now. We're essentially being told, and meanwhile, from what I've heard, and I'm going to confirm this, but I understand there are still flights coming in from all over the world. And uh, Sophie Trudeau, there, you're not supposed to be going to a cottage for your isolation, but Sophie Trudeau, uh, who actually does have the COVID-19, and she may be better now, but she did have it, she has gone off to her cottage. So that's okay for her, not the rest of us. The rest of us need to be locked in our chamber. They can go. But now he is saying, he's giving us these vague answers that things will return to normal when everybody practices what we're asking them to do. Well, that's pretty vague, man. A country of 40 million people, do you honestly think there's going to be 100% compliance with this? Is there going to be 99% compliance? What would be a good compliance rate? Does he even know? Does he offer to tell us? Should we expect 50% compliance, 75% compliance? Give us a number we can shoot for. And besides that, regardless, don't forget these damn lectures. We all know by now. If you don't know, you're fucking stupid. If you haven't figured out by now that you're supposed to avoid people, that there's a pandemic, if you haven't figured out that by now, you're dumb. You're a dumbass. Maybe you should get it. Maybe that'll thin the herd. But nevertheless, right, everybody knows this. Everybody knows what they're supposed to do. So instead of just wagging the finger and saying, when everybody behaves, then, then you'll be let off the hook. No, give us some goddamn numbers. Tell us what we need to see 
then then it'll be better. And, and what sort of compliance level do we need? I think it's pretty high, but expecting, expecting everybody to comply, that's not going to happen. And what are the rest of us supposed to do if they don't? Do you want us to go out and shoot somebody? You know, if, if it's, if two weeks go by and the curve still hasn't flattened enough or, or some people still aren't doing what they're supposed to do, are all of us that have been doing what we're supposed to do spend another two weeks in? Like, is this going to go on indefinitely? Oh man, the guy is really getting hot under the cotter, man. I'm ready, but let's calm down.